Soon my sister was saying, I jumped out of the car and said, hey, don't talk to me like that. So when he went down, imagine I'm like 5'8", he was another 5'10", maybe. So he kind of went 10 foot down to get my drift right. I was just telling my sister, look, you know, this way you don't go. After that, I know where you're going. Was kind of, you know, big brother talk, right? And I've touched my leg, and I'm going, the blood will be used to wrestle absolutely. Well, it's 97 kilo men who literally are flying. You know, he, he saw the Sahaba that were no low ground. And all I was giving you the strength and this ability and this fight prowess. And now all of a sudden, you, you need to check yourself. Uh, just, just, just to explain, there's a, there's a couple of things that happens and why sometimes wrestling you've got to be careful when you're wrestling, okay? So, someone was talking, my sister was saying, I, was, I jumped out of the car and said, hey, why don't you talk to me like that? And he took a swing at me. Obviously, you know, mixed clothes and shorts, slippers and the vest. It was the middle of the summer, I was just picking her up. It actually wasn't too far from here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just down the road from here. Yeah. Um, so as he went to throw a punch, that move I just showed, a, a double leg lifted him up. See, in wrestling, people, they know when you're going to get thrown, they kind of, but he was like this. So when he went down, imagine I'm like 5'8, he was another 5'10 maybe. So he kind of went 10 foot down to get my drift right. So he, he hit hard. And um, anyway, so when that happened, um, kind of have to put him in a recovery position because you know, kind of maybe snoring. Um, and I think I was, I think I was pre grad, I don't know if I was post grad, I can't remember what it was. I remember thinking, oh my god, my registration is a doctor. <laughs> I'm doing late. When I came back next day, they went, you know, those white chalk markings. I was like, yes, the gone home. Um, but the point is, when, when I got in the car to drive back, so I go, when, I, when I got in the car to drive back, um, I felt something running down my leg. I was like, what is that? And I was just telling my sister, look, you know, this way you don't go. After that, I know where you're going. Was kind of, you know, big brother talk, right? And I've touched my leg and I've gone, this blood, look. What I've done is, that move I just done with him wrong, I've done that on the outside on the street with shorts, like G shorts here. So I've split my knee like that. So there, you have to be also weary of applications. You can't use certain grappling moves on the street because you're going to put yourself in severe danger. Yeah? But the reason why you learn to grapple is because firstly, I, I don't care how good you are, Allah, when someone comes to fight you or comes to uh, has altercate or something comes in your grill, your heart rate will go up, you breathe more faster, you'll be scared. You know, this is your noradrenaline adrenaline kicking in. You can't get around that. That's just part and parcel of the process, yeah? If you do that enough times, the response becomes dampened, but it's still there. And there was a good explanation of this. The explanation of this was, if you're driving a car at 30 miles power all your life, one day someone throws it. Suddenly, the windows start shuddering, the weird steering wheel shuddering, the car's making, you know, swerving. That's what a fight situation is. All your life you're going to fail and suddenly someone pushes you into 80 mile, 90 mile, 100 mile per hour zone. And you've never done that before. I was saying, by the way, don't drive that fast, okay? Especially around here. Um, and because of that, the, the, in your situations, your, uh, you, if you have any your situations, firstly, your response might be odd. Like you might do or say something that you thought you were going to do. But when you're constantly in that, someone's taking your personal space away, you can deal with it. I said, for me personally, from grappling, I can deal with it. I can deal with someone coming in my space because it happens all the time. I think that's one of the benefits, maybe. Um, application on the street, it just means if you do fall in those positions, you've been there a hundred times, you know what to do. I mean, you know what to do. That's, I think that's the difference. And, and uh, there's nothing better than just getting a bit of grapple with someone, shall we? I mean, it goes back to the hadith of what was you know, he said, um, you know, he, he saw the Sahaba that were a low grapple. And he asked, well, what would you think? I said, who wins? The one who throws everyone. Remember the famous hadith? The strong wrestler, not the one who throws everyone, but can control himself in a time of rage. In a time of rage. That is strength. And 
you know what is even more powerful? That we know Allah and we can smash that guy. You can actually, you know, I can lift him, I'm going to put him into the floor and pick him up and put him one more times until I've made his grave ready with his head. Then you know, if you can control yourself then and humble yourself then, alhamdulillah. And, and it comes back to being, um, it's like I'm not saying, it's humbling. For those that who know my dad, he literally is four foot nothing. <laughs> but he's a very, just the 50 kilos. He used to wrestle, now. we're going to get this scene from Soviet Army Shah in the 60s. He used to wrestle absolute to well, 97 kilo men who literally were flying. No flying. And you know, someone's holding a picture of him. You know, mashallah. Even the BJJ, who's holding it actually? Twists you, puts you in that position where actually you feel hopeless and you can't get out. That's humble. That's really humble. And that's kind of, I've, I've met some grapplers who are very, very slim, they're very fresh, but when they catch you, you're like, it's like an anaconda just gone around you. And you literally, in your heart, you're thinking, my God, imagine if I make this guy's true. It's humble. And it's humble. So I think that the takeaway from that is. The sport should humble you. Unfortunately, there are some sports that actually they provoke the wrong side of you, you know, without getting into certain, into certain arts. I just think grappling really does humble you. And I think you're right, I think, like I'm just saying, it comes back to your your kind of your own inner self. And, you know, if, 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 you, if you're well grounded in, in shoulder and your faith, and, and you think about Sman's Allah, you think about Hiroth, you think about all the good things, you think about your actions, you're always reflecting, you're always very introspective. You know, today I got into a notification of someone and afterwards I felt terrible. And i tell you why, because, subhanAllah, I actually felt like I was really intimidating the person. Not, not, I, I just said, look, respect each other's space, respect, I respect my respect. But I felt inside, like I was doing like this, astaghfirullah, I would do that. Do you know what I'm saying? And at the end, I came and tried to find him, tried to apologize. As the song is, it says a gentleman who looks like someone, so please tell him I'm sorry. Why? Not because of anything, but you feel like, wow, you're shy in front of them, wow, you feel terrible, you feel miserable, how can I speak to someone else? And Allah's gifted you this strength and this ability and this fight prowess, and now all of a sudden you, you need to check yourself, you know? And that's what our faith does, it gives us this checks and balances.